And here we're going to talk a little bit more about sound. And the next topic here is what we call the decibel scale. See, sound intensity has a very wide range. For example, uh, the threshold of hearing, which we call the faintest sound that the human ear can hear at about a thousand hertz, is one times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. That's a trillionth of a watt per square meter. That's just almost no energy at all, yet the human ear can pick it up, the ones that have healthy hearing, of course. And so we want to come up with a scale that, that kind of makes it a lot easier to work with these huge numbers. 10 to the minus 12 is or, you know, very tiny numbers. And so we equated that to zero decibels. So if someone says, I hear a sound of zero decibels, they have very good hearing. The threshold of pain, where if you hear a sound and you want to cover up your ears because it's hurting your ears, that's a sound intensity of about one watt per square meter, and that equates to 120 decibels. So notice the difference between those two. That's a trillion to one. We can hear sound intensities that have a huge range of intensity, all down to one trillionth of a watt per square meter, all the way up to a whole watt per square meter, and even beyond that. Of course, when we start hearing sounds that are more intense on one watt per square meter, hearing damage could result, especially when it goes up to 10 or 100 watts per square meter. So how does it scale work? How does the decibel scale work? Well, we have a conversion factor in an equation that allows us to go from one to the other. And for example, you can say that the intensity in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of the ratio of the intensity of the sound, so let's call that I, divided by I sub naught. And remember, I sub naught is known as the threshold of, of, of a sound, the, the softest or least intense sound that the human ear can hear. So let's take an example. Let's say that we have uh, an intensity. So as an example, let's say we have an intensity that's equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 6 watts per square meter. And we want to go ahead and find what that is equivalent to in decibels. By the way, that's pretty well like a, a, a conversation in a room between people probably sounds about that, that intensity. All right, so I in decibels is equal to 10 times the log of the intensity right here, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 6 watts per square meter. And we divide that by the faintest sound that the human ear can hear, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 12 watts per square meter. All right, now when we divide that by that, you notice that's equal to 10 to the 6th. So this is equal to 10 times the log of 10 to the 6th. Of course, the watts per square meter cancels out. And 10 to the 6, we take the log of that, that's equal to 6, so it's equal to 10 times 6, which is equal to 60, and then of course the units we're going to use is decibels. So a sound intensity that is equal to 1 times 10 to the minus 6 watts per square meter is equivalent to 60 decibels. And so that's a lot easier scale to work with. For example, let's, uh, let's draw out some, some sounds. So if we start at 0 dB, 0 dB, or decibels as we call them, 0 dB sound intensity, uh, that is the, the uh, threshold of hearing. That's the faintest sound that we can hear. If we then go up to maybe 20 decibels, that may be something like the rustling of the leaves. If you go for a walk outside and there's a little bit of breeze blowing, you hear some, some leaves rustling, that's uh, <clears throat> the leaves in a tree. Uh, maybe a soft conversation, maybe uh, people talking very softly, kind of whispering to each other, DB, that may be, as, or maybe some background music that's playing in the background, not very loud, that's about uh, uh, 40 dBs, background, uh, quiet music, how do you spell quiet, what's that? Q-U-I-E-T. Q-U-I-E, that's right, Q-U-I-E-T, quiet uh, background music is about 40 decibels. Um, when you go to 60 decibels, as I mentioned before, that's probably a conversation between people. Uh, when you go onto a busy street and you hear all kinds of cars driving by and all that, that may be something like 80 decibels. Uh, matter of fact, sometimes you'll see signs in neighborhoods where you say, no loud noises allowed, and they'll have 80 decibels with a line through it saying nothing above 80 decibels. Um, so that would be a, a busy street. Now we get into the range where noises get to be pretty loud. For example, a jackhammer, you go on the street, they're repairing the street, and they're with a jackhammer trying to break up the street. Uh, that's probably about 110 decibels. 
And uh, then the, what we call the threshold of pain, when you really begin to go, oh, I want to cover my ears because my ears are hurting, that's about the 120 decibels. So you can see that the sound of a jackhammer is at the point where you almost want to cover up your ears from the sound. So that would be the threshold of pain, as we call it. The ears begin to hurt. That's the, the energy going into your eardrums. It begins to be painful, so threshold of pain. And then finally, uh, if you set up your lounge chair at the, at the military airport right next to the runway, maybe 100 feet away from uh, jets taking off, military jets, now you're talking about sounds of about 140 decibels. That would be uh, a military jet taking off. Now, if you do that without hearing protection, you will damage your ears. Your ears will receive so much energy that the inside of the ear will simply begin to break down and over time uh, you will begin to he have hearing loss. That's why when you see people working on an aircraft carrier with the jets taken off at really close distance, they all wear very good ear protection, otherwise everybody probably would go deaf on board these aircraft carriers. Anyway, that gives you kind of an idea of what a decibel scale is. It's a, it's a really nice way of keeping track of how intense the sound is in a way where you don't have to deal with these exponentials like that. So that's what the decibel scale is in sound.